Wait, cats have breeds? Yes, it's true, there's more than just the breed domestic cat. While most of us ordinary humans obtain our cats from the local animal rescue or from a friend who adopted a pregnant stray, some people shell out money for fancy breeds of cat, and some people shell out extra large amounts of money for really, really fancy breeds of cat. So it might cost you up to $3,000 for a flat-faced Persian or $3,500 for an elegant Maine Coon, according to People, but if you want to spend the really big bucks, there are a couple hybrid breeds that will give you points for having an exotic cat, as well as points for spending way more money on a cat than you really need to. According to the Cat Fanciers Association, the Bengal is a large domestic cat that has a rosette pattern on its coat, circular markings resembling those of a leopard. So if you want a domesticated cat that looks like a wild one, without the part where it kills you in your sleep and eats you, you could look into purchasing a Bengal. This breed can trace its ancestry back to 1963 when a breeder weirdly decided to cross a domestic cat with the Asian leopard cat, a small type of wild cat that you definitely don't want to raise in your home. When this cat gets to be full grown, it can rip your face off. So, <laughs> Why do you seem to revel in that imagery? All modern Bengals are descended from that original breeding program, although no crossbreeding with wild cats still occurs, all Bengals are bred from other Bengals. One of these cats will cost between $1,500 and $5,000. You're probably wondering, can a domestic cat that's descended from a wild one really be considered completely domesticated? The Cat Fanciers Association says yes, although this breed does have a few quirks you won't find in most other domesticated cats. They'll happily learn tricks, for example, while most common house cats are clearly far above such things. Many of them actually enjoy getting wet, too, and you know how most common house cats feel about that. So Bengals are mostly like the cats we're used to sharing our homes with, with a few fun and unexpected differences. Dropping 5,000 bucks is nothing, though, compared to the most expensive cat breed in the world. According to the Savannah Cat Association, the Savannah is another hybrid between a domestic cat and a wild cat. Savannas are the product of breeding domestic short hair cats to the African serval, which is a long-legged, spotted species with large ears and a short tail. There are a lot of genetic differences between domestic cats and servals, so early generations of savanna produced fertile females and sterile males. In later generations, the males were fertile too, so breeders could start breeding savannas to other savannas. Today's savanna is still sort of a work in progress. Unlike Bengal cat breeders, who no longer cross in Asian leopard cats, savanna breeders are still producing cats that are 50% African serval. So if you want a cat that is literally half wild, Somewhere out there is a breeder who will happily take your money. Or you can get later generations of savannas that are the result of breeding savanna to savanna. How much you spend on your savanna cat depends a lot on which generation the animal is and how closely it resembles a serval. So you may only spend $1,500 on a pet quality 6th or 7th generation savanna, but if you want a first generation breeding quality female that looks pretty darn similar to a wild African cat, you could pay up to $18,000 or even $20,000, depending on where you go. That's around the price of a small car, so hopefully you'll enjoy your Savannah cat so much you won't ever want to leave the house. Yeah, these cats are pretty amazing, but they're not wanting for homes. If you just want a cat to love, an animal shelter or rescue organization is still the best place to go. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.